Hi, this is Mike Carruthers, the producer of the Storytelling Project. Encouraged by my friend Kevin Hesketh is to the, a terrific story about his ministry. I've been asked to share my story now of also going to British Columbia, but this is in the summer of 1976 where I was going door to door selling encyclopedias, the New World Book of Knowledge. This is recorded at the Eucharist United Church on September 19th, 9th, 2020. Enjoy. Kevin, I, I do have a story, Kevin. You had, you, and you telling me about your work in the First Nations community up in Hazleton made me think of this story. And it's, it's, when I was 20 years old, I needed a job to earn some money to go to, back to university. And I got the job to be a grillier encyclopedia salesman. It was undoubtedly the worst job I ever had, but I had some skills selling stuff, and I was probably their most successful salesperson in that group that summer. So what we did, you know, you know like in a funeral home, you got the uh, you got the hearse, then you got the big limousine that you can bring the family to the service and that. So we got one of these big black limousines. So they had they had the uh, our supervisor who was an older guy who drank a lot. And probably I think there was like six of us younger people around around 20 uh, went out to to go up to northern BC to sell encyclopedias. Now what we would do, I'm not feeling I feel a little ashamed about this, but this is how it worked. What we would do is we would find the poorest community that we could find in a in a small town, and generally it was the trailer park. And we'd go into these, off these trailer park communities, and we would go door to door. We had this really, this fake bogus survey to answer questions about education, and, and we would talk our way into their home, to, into their home. And then we would do this whole presentation to these folks with this whole underlying text or theme that was never spoken, but it was definitely there that if you don't buy these encyclopedias, you'll grow up, your children will grow up stupid like you. You know, that's horrible, but you know, that's, that's, what, that's what we do. And, and in fact, I remember one evening we were in one small town. We had a, we were, there was another encyclopedia group of professional older men who were salesmen who were selling for Encyclopedia Britannica. And we basically had this kind of conversation about the psychological thing of selling. I, I was lis listening more than in talking at that point, but, we would do this, and we would often feel guilty at night. We would we would drink a lot, and, and you know, have probably inappropriate relationships with other members of our selling crew, because we were half male and female, and you know, that's how it worked. But to go back to Hazelton, I remember going to Hazelton as one of the communities we went, and that was the, the first time we were actually went into a First Nations community, and. And I was like immediately welcomed into this home. It was like no question. There was no talking my way in with this fake survey. And I, do, I started to do this presentation. And the people in the home were so quiet. But I could feel this vibe that they, their hospitality was to let me in. I was a stranger and they were going to let me in because I was a stranger to their home. They, they had to make me a guest. And then I was kind of violating their trust by kind of doing this presentation that was totally inappropriate. And I could just feel kind of like the, not disgust, but this kind of like, you know, the disappointment in me as a human that I would come into their home and kind of make light of this, this sacred spot of their home to do this presentation. So that was, that was my experience in Hazleton. It was, it was a, I look back, that was a horrible thing to have done because the way I, I kind of got myself into these homes. <laughs> but from Hazleton, but another member from Hazleton, we went, we ended, we ended up going down to um, Kitimat. And in Kitimat, I was rolling. I think this is one special day I'll never forget. I think I sold three sets of encyclopedias that day. So I, I was their top guy and they were really happy with me, the, the sales manager. And, at that point, and this is 1976, I would have probably, uh, my commissions would have been over $300, which were just for that one day or that one afternoon, which was pretty good at that time. But one of the homes I got into, I was in the rural, I'd done the three sets, I come into this other home, and this really cute little girl opens the door and lets me in. Uh, or her parents let me in to call, and I, I go into their home quite easily. And like, and I start this presentation, I have this, this chart on this floor, and this old 
bullshit script. Uh, but like Hazleton, this family was totally quiet. I didn't get the vibe of like I was I was somehow not welcome. I was kind of taking advantage of their hospitality. No, they just sat there quiet. And then I did the presentation, and as soon as the presentation was finished, the father basically says, there's no need to continue, son. Um, we're Jehovah Witnesses, and we believe that the world as we know it's going to end in six months, so we're really not going to need your, your product, but thank you for coming and sharing it to me. And I was stunned. Like I had, I had, no, I had no comeback to that. And I, I was just looking at those poor little girls, they're beautiful little blonde girls that were there, and you know, they, their family really believed, and I'm sure th they were told that they, they were going to go to heaven in six months, so there was no need for an encyclopedia, a uh, Grolier encyclopedia. That was, a that was a horrible summer. I was so glad when that ended, and, and, uh, and probably the job I, I am, I'm kind of ashamed that I had. So... There, there's my story. There's my story for you, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you for asking me.